Imagine being in New York City about 16 years ago. A guy just like you and me working at a financial firm. He's got this boss, someone he looks up to, someone he admires. Now this guy, he has a dream. He has an idea that he believes could change the world. He dreams of starting a company that sells books on the internet. You see, this is not just any dream. This is a dream that's bold, that's daring, that's transformative. It's a dream that requires courage, determination, and a whole lot of faith. But when he shares this dream with his boss, the response he gets is far from encouraging. His boss, the person he admires, tells him, Hey, that's cool, but maybe it's not the best move since you got a good job already. Now this could have been a moment of defeat. It could have been the end of the road for our protagonist and his dream. But that's not what happens. Instead, our guy takes this advice to heart. He spends two days, 48 hours, contemplating, weighing his options, and wrestling with his decision. And then, after those 48 hours of contemplation, he makes a choice. He decides, I'm going for it. He chooses to pursue his dream, to chase after his idea, despite the discouragement, despite the risks, despite the uncertainty. He chooses to believe in himself, in his dream, in his power to make a difference. And that, my friends, is how Amazon was born. It's a story of courage, of determination, of faith in oneself and one's dreams. It's a story that reminds us that no dream is too big, no idea is too wild, and no obstacle is too great if we choose to believe in ourselves and our power to change the world. But it wasn't a smooth journey. Our guy had to hustle hard. In the beginning imagine him, driving a beat-up old Chevy Blazer, delivering packages to the post office himself. The glamour we associate with successful entrepreneurs was nowhere to be found. It was all grit, all determination, all sweat. His idea was novel, groundbreaking, but it was also unfamiliar, untested, and that made it a hard sell. He found himself knocking on the closed doors of investors, trying to convince them to believe in his vision, but the doors remained shut. One rejection followed another, 22 in total. You could almost hear the echo of no's in his journey, but he didn't let the sound of rejection drown out his faith in his idea. Each no was a stepping stone, a lesson, a push to refine his pitch, to understand the market better, to believe in himself even more fiercely. Imagine the nights of doubt, the whispers of worry, the shadows of uncertainty. Picture him, alone with his dream, wrestling with the fear of failure. It was a struggle, a grind, a battle between his conviction and the realities of the business world. But he didn't surrender. He didn't abandon ship at the sight of the first storm. He held on to his dream with a tenacious grip, refusing to let go, refusing to give in. His belief in his idea was his compass, guiding him through the turbulent waters of entrepreneurship. He could have given up, could have returned to the comfort of a 9-to-5 job, but he didn't. He chose to persevere, to fight, to keep going. He chose to face the challenges head-on, to learn from his failures, to rise from the ashes of rejection. And that choice, my friends, made all the difference. It was his commitment to his idea, his unwavering belief in himself that kept him going. It was his ability to transform rejection into motivation, failure into fuel, that propelled him forward. It was his perseverance, his grit, his determination, that turned his dream into reality. Rejection after rejection, he kept at it, because he believed in his idea. Fast forward to today and Amazon is a household name. It's nearly impossible to meet someone who hasn't, at least once, clicked that familiar Add to Cart button. But remember, this empire wasn't built overnight, nor was it built solely on the brilliance of its founder. Dig a little deeper, and you'll find that the heart of this success story lies in the choices made along the way. Choices that were often difficult, sometimes risky, but always driven by a relentless belief in the vision. Choices like leaving the security of a well-paying job or knocking on the 22nd door after 21 had been shut. But it wasn't just the big decisions that mattered. It was also the everyday choices. The choice to keep going when things got tough. The choice to stay true to the mission, even when the critics were loud. The choice to treat every customer with respect and every competitor with integrity. Through it all, our protagonist has come to realize that success isn't about how smart you are or how gifted. It's not about the odds in your favor or the resources at your disposal. Success, he realized, is about the choices you make along the way. It's about the courage to follow your passion, the resilience to weather the storm, and the integrity to do what's right, even when it's not easy. And that, my friends, is a lesson worth remembering. He's got a message for all of us, my friends. 
Life is all about the choices we make. It's not about the hand we're dealt, but how we play the game. His journey tells us that kindness is a choice, and it's one that's more valuable than cleverness. In a world that often values the smart, the fast, the sharp, choosing kindness is an act of rebellion, an act of strength. His journey also tells us about resilience. It's about standing up again and again, facing the storm head on, even when it's easier to stay down. It's about believing in your idea, your dream, even when others don't. It's about being a little bit swashbuckling when things get tough. And then there's originality. Following the crowd is easy, but to be original, to blaze your own trail, that's where the magic happens. It's about daring to be different, daring to be you. And that leads us to authenticity. It's about being true to yourself, even when it's scary, even when it's uncomfortable. When you're feeling stressed or What's your next step towards greatness? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and let's inspire each other to reach new heights. Until next time, keep striving, keep growing, and keep believing in the power of your dreams.